My name is Mike Valentino, and we're at my family's home in Pleasant Valley installing an air source heat pump. Our home is two levels, four bedrooms, and around 2,200 square feet. For anyone that lives in our area, you know that our summers can be pretty hot and humid, our winters can be bitter cold, and we were really looking for a system that would help bring comfort in both of those scenarios. The biggest misunderstanding of heat pumps is that they're electric heat, and they're not. They use electricity to turn a compressor and to turn fan motors. The compressor circulates refrigerant through a system. The fan motors blow air across coils. So essentially, it's an air conditioning system in the summertime that takes heat from your home and sends it outdoors. And in the winter, it takes heat from outside and then brings it into your home. The older heat pumps were rated for their maximum heat output at 47 degrees Fahrenheit. Modern technology with variable speed compressors allow us to extract heat from the air at much colder temperatures. These systems now are giving full heat output all the way down to five degrees or zero degrees. So we're well within the operating range of these new heat pumps. They're actually called cold climate heat pumps now. There's not a one size fits all for air source heat pumps. Um, customers can, based on their home, can choose a couple of different options. Uh, for my home, we ended up doing a ducted unit for the upstairs and ductless units for the downstairs. Especially if you're using ductless systems, you want these in the areas that the customers live in the most. Because you find most houses have a couple of areas that 90% of the living is done. And that's where you want the positioning of these air rollers, so the systems are successful. He laid out a couple of different options. And at the end of the day, we went with versions that were least invasive from both an outside perspective and an interior perspective. When we do a ducted system in the attic, we have one pipe running down the outside of the house. And in this particular case, we have uh, three indoor units, and this job would take about three days total. There were a couple of reasons um, that pushed us to installing this type of a unit. Um, one was the ability to offset the cost of heating and cooling my home. We're hoping that this will provide us with long-term savings that will ultimately increase the value of our property. Energy efficient equipment's a highly coveted attribute. Buyers are obviously budget conscious and curious to know what it's going to cost them to operate a home on an annual basis. So any energy efficient initiatives will help as far as a marketing premise and create demand. The other two were uh, the financing and incentives offered through Central Hudson and NYSERDA. From an energy efficiency standpoint, Central Hudson wants to give customers the ability to put these units in their home at an affordable cost to them um, while helping New York State achieve its clean energy goals. For a customer who is looking to make this type of an upgrade to their home, there hasn't been a better time because of the incentives that Central Hudson is offering.